Since potential Apollo landing sites had been adequately surveyed, SC-7 was assigned a scientific mission in an area just north of the crater Tycho. The spacecraft landed safely in the rockiest area yet encountered by surveyor and supplied a vast amount of new data. This picture shows Surveyor 7's leg resting against an 8-inch rock. The area in which the spacecraft landed was by far the rockiest encountered by any of the Surveyor spacecraft. On January 12, the surface sampler conducted the first digging operation on the moon since Surveyor 3 dug four trenches in April 1967. The surface sampler had earlier been used to free the Alpha scattering instrument which had not completely deployed, and seat it properly on the lunar surface. This six-inch rock was just outside the five-foot reach of the surface sampler. The grooves at the end of its reach were made by rivets in the blade of the scoop. Here's another view of the sampler digging in the lunar soil. It was taken by means of the three-and-one-half-inch wide mirror on the surveyor's mast. The mirror allows stereoscopic photos to be taken that can be used for accurate range determinations. To the right of the mirror is a pile of rocks a few feet from the surveyor. The largest is about a foot across. Surveyor 7 was thus a memorable conclusion for one of the most spectacularly successful space exploration programs yet accomplished.